This is me playing Fortnite on my Linux desktop PC. And no, it's not running natively on my desktop PC as it may appear. I'm actually playing it on my PS5 that's in the other room and streaming it to my PC. And today I'm going to show you how you can actually stream your PS5 or PS4 to your Linux desktop PC and play games that are not available on the Linux desktop. So let's get right into it. To be completely honest with you guys, I am really excited to be bringing you this video because this program that I'm about to share with you guys, I actually forgot it existed. And I don't know how I forgot it existed because I started my channel using this program and that program is called Chiaki. When I first started this channel, I was using Manjaro as my main Linux desktop operating system on my main PC. I had my PS4 and I wanted to make a video or a review on Final Fantasy VII Remake. And I had to figure out a way how to stream my PS4 footage onto my PC and I used Chiaki in order to do that. And it's actually pretty simple to set up, so follow this video along step by step and you'll have no problem actually setting it up and getting your PS4 or PS5 streaming to your desktop PC. With all that being said and out of the way, here is my Linux desktop. Now my Linux distro of choice right now is Papa OS 22.04. So where you get the program may differ depending on your distro, but for right now I'm going to be going into the pop shop and as you can see, I already have that open. I'm going to go into the search uh, apps box here and I'm going to type in Chiaki. I'm going to go ahead and open that up. You're going to want to go ahead and install this. Now, if you want the dev package, if you're on uh, Pop OS 22.04, you can go ahead and select the dev package. I selected and I opted for the flat pack. So I already have this installed in my computer. So I'm going to go ahead and close out the pop shop. And then the next thing you're going to want to do is open up Chiaki. And here it is. And as you can see, my PS5 is already being discovered on my network but I cannot connect to it. You won't be able to connect to your PS5 or PS4 right away. You have to use the Remote Play app on your PS4 or PS5 in order to link it to your PC, but there are a few things you gotta do before you can actually get this to work. And everything I'm about to mention in this video will be down in the description below. So all the websites, all the scripts you're gonna need will be down in the description, so just follow along and everything should work smoothly for you in the first shot. The first thing you gotta do is go get your Sony account ID. After you get to the homepage of this website, you just go ahead and type in your ID and your password for your Sony PlayStation or PSN network account. After you log into the Sony website, you wanna go up in the upper right hand corner of the screen and click on your profile picture. Once you do that, it'll bring you to this screen right here that I am showing you. This is going to show all your personal information on your PSN account and any other profiles or any other accounts you have with Sony. The tab that we are interested in right now is the privacy settings tab. So you wanna go ahead and click on that. And then the area of this page you wanna focus on is the access your personal information. You want Sony to release information about your PS5 and PSN network. Mostly you want the account ID off of this. And I'm gonna show you exactly where, how it looks once they send it to you. This took me about 12 hours to do. So you wanna do this immediately as soon as you want, if you wanna do this. So you go ahead and click data access requests and they will, aggregate all the information for you and then we'll send it to the email that you have on file with them. That took, like I said, for me, it took about 12 hours. So be patient with this process. Now, after Sony's done gathering up all the information in your account, they're gonna put it into a PDF file and send you a link to the email that you have on file with them. So that way you can access it. Once you get the email, click on the link and it'll send you back to the Sony page to where you requested the information from. Once you get there, it should automatically download the PDF file. After that file is done downloading, go ahead and open it up and you should see an Excel spreadsheet much like this one. Now, just as a side note, you may wanna get that file out of your downloads folder and put it into a safe place on your PC because this is your entire PSN account network information, history, everything. There's all tabs in the bottom and this is everything that you have here. So just a little side note, put it somewhere safe. Now the only information we need off of this spreadsheet is the account ID number, the right hand column. So you want to go ahead and double click on that or highlight the entire thing minus the apostrophe at the beginning. And we actually have to take this number and transcode it into something that Chiaki can actually use. So that way you can access your PlayStation through Chiaki. And we're going to do that by using a Python 3 script. So here's that Python 3 script that I have linked down in the description below, and it's opened up inside of a text editor right now. Just a plain text editor that came with Pop OS. You can use whatever text editor you want or feel comfortable with, but we're gonna use this little script in order to convert that big, long account number that Sony gave you and put it into an eight byte little number or little ID. That way Chiaki can actually use that and link up the PS4 or PS5 accounts to it. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take our account ID, the big long number, and we're gonna type it into this part right here where it says your account ID. Go ahead and just 
copy that right inside there and now we're going to take this entire script and we're going to open up a terminal and we're going to type in python 3 and hit enter now you're actually inside of a python terminal now you can use that code to decipher and run this little bit of script here and get what you want out of it we're going to take this and just click and drag it right into of your terminal and you're going to see print user id base 64 and there's going to be a string of numbers and letters at the bottom of that right un underneath that on line six that is the id that you're going to use inside of chiaki so put that off to the side for now and now we're going to open up chiaki once again now that chiaki is opened up on your pc you want to go ahead and turn your ps4 or your ps5 and then you want to get to the remote play settings on your console of choice so on the ps5 it's going to the upper right hand corner and going to settings system remote link and then you want to click on a link device and then it'll pop up about a eight digit code there that we're going to need in a couple of seconds now inside of chiaki you want to go ahead and double click on the on the console that you want to link to the pc and then in the psn account id you want to take that little id number that we transcoded or that we converted and copy that into that psn account id field and then in the pin number you want to go ahead and type in the pin that the console is showing in the other room or wherever it happens to be you want to type that in and then you're going to hit register and after it's done registering you, go, you should see this little pop-up here the console ps5 has been successfully registered hit ok and now you can go ahead and double click on the console and it will stream to your pc just like that it's as simple as that a few steps it's a long process but once you get it it's amazing and you can play any ps5 game on your linux desktop pc and to me this is an absolute game changer especially for those who are wanting to break away from windows and just use linux as their primary desktop pc i hope you guys like this video and if you did don't forget to like comment and subscribe check out one of my other videos that are on the screen right now and until next time guys i'm joshua for love of games signing out have a great day.